When I think of the way that society stereotypes women, I first think of body image. Um, I think it's super frustrating. Even when you Google um, female athlete, it's like sexualized. So sports bra, big breasts, very unrealistic, tiny waist. Um, but that's not athletic. You have to maintain some type of body fat to be able to uh, withstand, you know, long periods of time in terms of like strength, conditioning, like. Obviously, there's health healthiness in that to be lean and fit, but um, strength training is another thing that um, it's kind of almost looked down upon about being too strong, too bar powerful, and it can be frustrating because some of the best female athletes in the world uh, don't look like that little mini petite girl on Google. <laughs> Inputting things into your body is completely necessary for performance, hydration. Um, and then the way you, you know, fuel your body for carbohydrates before games, matches, sets, whatever, um, is crucial. So it's tough because it's like, okay, hey, I have this diet of the way I'm eating and like I have to maintain for performance, but also want to look good. And it's, uh, it's like this fine line and, uh, it can be frustrating, um, to be able to go back and forth between that. I think at first trying to deal with it is knowing that that is that expectation is not meant to be for me. I know that um, how I look is like I have to tell myself sometimes like, hey, you know what? This is this is what you need to do in order to be successful, and you look good. So stop comparing yourself. I know I think we talk about. Uh, comparison is like the root of all disappointment. <laughs> um, I, I can't compare myself to what that looks like and uh, I really just have to stick with me in my own lane and I know my teammates feel similar. I mean I play with a lot of women that are um, extremely tall, long, you know very muscular whatever and so um, just being able to focus on what makes you unique and you special is probably the best way to go.